So here in Illinois, it's early November and the temperatures are really starting to drop. So what that means is it's time to start thinking about putting all of our lawn equipment away for the year. But your lawn equipment can't perform its best if you don't do the steps that you should do to properly maintain that equipment. So today, we're gonna go through those steps and I'm gonna show you exactly what you should do to keep that stuff running in tip top shape. So right now in Illinois, it's really starting to get cold. I think we're in the 50s for the next two days, but after that, we're gonna see the high 30s as a high temperature. So what that means is we really gotta start getting together and putting all of our stuff away for the winter. So when we do that, there's a few things that we need to do so we can make sure that our equipment stays running the way it's supposed to, and so we're not causing ourselves extra work down the line. Now before we move inside of the garage and we start taking care of everything, we need to take care of everything that's outside of the garage first. I would suggest you start with your hoses and your leaves, clean all that stuff up, get your hoses drained out so we know that there's no water inside of those so they don't freeze over winter and split and you have to go out and buy something new in the spring. We also want to remember our liquid fertilizers need to go in so they don't freeze as well. A lot of these bottles will say if you keep them in a cool, dry place for the winter, they'll last for two years. If this stuff freezes, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm not going to take the chance. So I'm going to pack it all away, put it in my basement, and just bring it out in the spring. So now we're at the most important part of this video. These are the highest price items that you're going to have on your lawn. So these are the ones you're going to want to give the most attention to. The things that we're gonna to wanna to do are our yearly maintenance is a spark plug, oil change, air filter, blades, and run those tanks dry. I'm not gonna worry about too much with the pressure washer. I am gonna change the oil in it and then I'm just gonna to toss it in my basement because I have an unfinished basement so I can store this down there all year. Time Master, I can't do that with. So we're gonna change the oil, we're gonna change the spark plug, we're gonna change the air filter, and we're gonna put a coat of wax on it. I know that might sound silly to some of you guys, but I like my stuff to look new. And I want this thing to look just like this five years from now. So after I do all my regular maintenance, I'm gonna put a coat of wax on it, put a cover on it, and let it sit for the rest of the year. I suggest you do the same. step before we put everything away for the winter and let it sit is we want to get all that fuel out of the tank. There's two ways that you can do this. The way that I usually do it is I run the mower until it's completely out of fuel and then I start it back up until it stops again. When I cannot start it anymore I know that I'm dry and I'm done. You can do that or you can add something like true fuel to your fuel tank and let that sit over the winter. Again not affiliated with that company in any way. It's something I've tried a few times and it's probably something I'll do this this winter. But guys, that's it. With these simple, quick steps, you can keep your lawn mowers and your pressure washers running for years like they're brand new. A lot of people don't take care of their lawn mowers. They just throw it in a corner and they're done with it and they fire it up in the spring. That's not the way I like to do things. I like to keep my equipment running the way it should and looking the way it should. And that's just my personal opinion. If that's not your cup of tea, that's fine. But the, if you follow these steps, your stuff is gonna run great and look great for years.